Hi, you guys. You guys have two assignments today um, that you get to choose from, but you have to do one of them for your grammar assignment today. So if you look at the schedule, it says you have two options. You can do this side, which is a part of speech sort, or you can do this side, which is working with adjectives. So you decide you only have to do one or the other. I'm going to explain how to do both, and then you need to complete your assignment. This will be due the next time I see you. I'm going to first explain how to do the parts of speech sort. This is pretty easy, but it's working with parts of speech. So you have a bunch of words in this box up here. It says read all of the words and write the words in the correct section. So you're identifying every single word and writing them in the correct box. So for example, the word beautiful, you're either going to write it here or here or here based if it's a noun, verb, or adjective. So beautiful is describing something or someone and I'm going to do go ahead and write it down as it is an adjective. So I'm going to write it here. Let's do another one. Dinosaur. Dinosaur is a thing that would be a noun. So dinosaur would go here. Verb is something you're doing. So write. Write is an action word. So that's a verb and that would go here. So you need to go through and do all of the words and fill them out correctly of where they belong. That's how you do this side if you want to do this side. If you'd rather do this side, this is replacing dull adjectives with vivid adjectives. So here are your vivid adjectives down below, and here are your sentences where you're going to replace the underlying adjective. We as fifth graders need to use good vivid adjectives. Instead of saying a good friend, this is a pretty dull word. We want something more vivid. How can you also describe someone as a good friend? I could say he's a trustworthy friend. So I'm going to say a trustworthy friend. Okay. Instead of saying little toys, I could say that they are delicate toys. Delicate toys. Instead of saying a nice person, I could say a generous person, because that also means the word nice. Generous. A, oops, a generous person. So basically, you're finding the synonyms for the underlying words in the box provided for you. If you want to come up with your own, as long as they're good, juicy words for adjectives, you can go ahead and do that. This got really um, faded, so this is supposed to say great news, and then you're going to change the word great for number 10, and this says a good student, and I want you to change the word for good, so just so you know, because those were um, not printed well. Okay, so you guys can either do the adjective or the parts of speech sort. You choose, get it done, and it is due next time I see you. Okay, you guys, talk to you later.